Falcon 9 lands on folding carbon fiber legs almost every week. So here's a question that sounds obvious, but actually isn't. If those legs work so well, why doesn't Starship use them? Why did SpaceX abandon one of the most successful landing systems in rocket history for its next generation vehicle? Because the moment you try to scale Falcon 9 style legs up to Starship, the physics stop cooperating. Falcon 9 lands light, narrow, and low. At touchdown, it weighs about 25 to 30 tons, lands on a single engine, and has a low center of mass. The legs spread the load, absorb impact, and give tolerance for small landing errors. Starship is a completely different beast. It's 9 meters wide, far taller, and even after re-entry, it can still weigh 100 tons or more. Most of that mass sits high in the vehicle, raising the center of gravity. That's where things go wrong. On a vehicle this tall, even a tiny tilt at touchdown creates huge leverage. If one Falcon 9-style leg touched the ground slightly early, the forces wouldn't go straight down. They would twist the entire lower structure. Engines, thrust mounts, and the skirt would all see loads Starship was never designed to take. Here's the key cliffhanger. Landing legs don't just hold rockets up, they bend them. Falcon 9 was built to survive that bending. Starship was not. Starship structure is optimized for forces traveling straight through the thrust axis, not sideways through wide landing legs. Making Falcon 9 style legs work would require heavy reinforcement around the skirt and engine bay. And here's the payoff. Falcon 9's legs weigh about 2 tons on a much smaller rocket. Scaled up to Starship, the legs and reinforcements would likely add 10 tons or more of dead weight. That's mass carried to orbit every flight, used for only a few seconds at landing. And Starship isn't meant to land occasionally, it's meant to fly often. Inspecting massive folding legs after every flight would slow reuse dramatically. So SpaceX chose precision over tolerance. Starship is designed to land straight down on thrust, keeping forces aligned with its strongest direction. On Earth, that makes landing legs unnecessary and opens the door to tower-based capture. Less mass, less stress, faster turnaround. So Falcon 9's landing legs weren't abandoned because they failed. They were abandoned because Starship outgrew them. If you want the full deep dive with diagrams, numbers, and test footage, the long version is right below the play button. Like the video, follow for more SpaceX breakdowns, and let me know in the comments, are landing legs obsolete for Earth, or will Starship bring them back for the Moon and Mars?